Hey guys, so today I'll be taking a look at a very promising looking game called Clockwork. This is a time-bending puzzle platformer where you play as Mechanical Boy in the city of Watchtower. So let's go ahead and start our story. And let's go ahead and begin at level 1. Grind Town. So here I am. care for a repair sir I have just the fix for you keep you ticking through another day bugger off how about you sir just a little fix ah oh, the text goes off the screen did I look broken to you get lost boy and you sir temporary of course uh, but it might help Auto, there's work to do. There's always. Just leave us alone. Well then, does anybody want to know the. No. No. I'll tell you what. You can do with that. W. <laughs> Alright, so that's kind of weird. Already at the very beginning of the game, there's an issue where uh, text <laughs> doesn't display fully. It might be because of my resolution. I play at a. Uh, N uncommon resolution. I play at 2560 by 1440, so uh, that might be why. Just in time for? Well, for nothing, really. Alright, so this is a little puzzle platformer. I can scale up these little uh, walls. So far, I'm really liking the uh, graphics of the game and the, uh, the music as well. No fixes today. So I am a little mechanical boy in this, uh, mechanical world. Clock. Work. I keep wanting to say clock tower. <laughs> Perhaps tomorrow I'll unfix something. I don't know if the dialogue is off, or if this is like a foreign game, but uh, it's very hard to follow what he's saying. Um, but anyways, always work to do in Watchtower. So the first few puzzles are all um, about switches. Very very easy. Switches to switch. I don't think I talk, take fall damage, so I'm just going to fall down here, and then go across. Gears to turn. I did read that there's boss fights in the game, so maybe I'll, uh, maybe I'll try to get to the first boss. Probably at level 10. I like the backgrounds too, all the gears moving. Ah, factory section, blah blah blah. Okay, what am I doing here? I have to jump across. Yeah, there we go. And then I have to pull this switch. And then pull this one and go back up and then go around. Very, very easy. In the description it says it's uh, steampunk inspired. I can definitely see that. And I keep missing <laughs> the uh, dialogue, but I don't think it's that important. Level 4. Everything. Was built. For a purpose. What's going on here? Am I supposed to do a leap of faith? I think so. Oh. Guess we're going back. Especially those crushers. They must be V. Oh, crap. Okay. So I need to lower this, and then I need to change it, and then I need to quickly jump on the elevator. And there we go. I guess we completed that level. Maybe? Yeah, there we go. Level 5. These levels are very, very short. Never mind. Oh, 
5, 23, and 40 seconds. 41. 42. Time to go home. <laughs> My character does not make any sense at all. I mean, he makes sense sometimes, but other times it's really hard to follow since he says like only like a couple words at a time. Who is this? It broke again, boy. Only 10 years, and I... What sort of shoddy repair job is this? Hello, Magnus. Fix it again, at once, at once. Do you hear? Good as new. Nothing is new, boy. Don't be impertinent. Well, perhaps that pocket watch of yours. I've always had my watch, sir. Which has never once broken in 400 years. Damn suspicious if you ask me. You can't even fix a leg properly. Nice to see you too, sir. Pardon me before you go. Do you want to... Nobody takes bloody notice of the bloody... I can't... It all cuts off at the screen. This doesn't make any sense. Then maybe it's about time they did. Millie? Uh-oh. What did you say, boy? Okay, so I think there's like a spirit in my little watch, but... I guess we'll find out later. It's really annoying that the text keeps uh, cutting off the screen. My, my watch, did it just talk? It is a she, thank you very much, and... Otto, I know this is Grindtown, right? Uh, okay... How do I... There we go. But, but, who are you? What are you? Don't, the power of the generators over in... A district? Oh my god, this is so... Power now, questions later. Auto, I don't... Blah, blah, blah. Okay, so anyways, we have a little spirit in our little, uh... Clock. Our little watch. Um... Stop. Hmm, where are we? I believe this is section 105D. I was just talking to myself. Oh. Wait here. Okay, so I think it's going to introduce the time control mechanics. What the heck? Whoa. What is going on here? There we go. I jumped over it. So I have like five lives. I guess I can make like clones of myself. I guess that's what the uh, new ability. You can now use Millie to move around the level and see further than Otto. Millie can also stop and start using the A button. Press the Y button to use. Wait, what in the world? Why would I? Ha I can go out of the map? And I could just fly all over the place? Ah, that's cool. So she is just a observer. Just a little scout to like look on ahead, I suppose. Alright, so I think what I have to do is I have to... I have to jump down here. I have to pull this lever. And then I have to die. And I need to wait. One of my many, many talents. Questions later. Off you go. Okay, cool. So we have a, I guess a time machine. Which, uh, allows us to create multiple copies of ourselves and do various tasks. What is that white one? That's kind of strange. Oops. Ah, uh, okay. So I need to wait, like, let's wait, like, I don't know, five or ten seconds here. Two, three, four, five, and push the lever. And then I'm gonna kill myself. I guess over here, right? There we go. Oh, I made it. Oh, barely made it. That was close. Ah, oh, but he lowered it back. 
You should press the switch again in a few seconds. Come on, past self. Help me. Thank you. <laughs> Playing with clones of myself. Alright, there we go. And here's another puzzle. Looks like I have to yeah. jump over here, press the switch, kill myself. Fall down here. Press the switch, kill myself again. Wait for the elevator to come across and fall. Ooh, that was close. I almost fell off. I'm your watch. You've always had me. Alright, so unfortunately I can't follow the story just because the text cuts off the screen. I'm wondering if it's like a resolution problem or what. Okay, so we're gonna run on this moving this little uh, conveyor belt for a second, then we're gonna kill ourselves, and then we're gonna wait. There we go. Some neat little puzzles. Um. Oh, I died. Oh, okay. So if I actually die, I have to reset. I think that's kind of dumb because, uh, I mean, I should have five lives, right? <laughs> five clones of myself. Okay, so what is going on here? There's some blue smoke above. Oh, that didn't work. Oh, wait, maybe this is a... Oh, it's a... There we go. Oops. It stops the smoke for like a split second. Oh, there we go. Oh, and then I have to make this guy run to open the door. Let me just wait a few seconds here. Do you know what will happen if I don't something? Oh crap, I fell. <laughs> we might have enough time. There we go. Okay, there we go. Puzzle completed. And victory. What level are we on? 11? Okay. It says there's uh, terrifying boss battles, but I haven't seen any uh, bosses yet. Hmm. So it looks like my character is talking to the spirit about... Um, time travel and such. Kind of interesting, although I'm not really paying attention just because uh, since the text keeps getting cut off, I don't want to really worry too much about it. Alright, so it looks like I completed this puzzle. I just have to wait for my little reflection. I think that's what he said it was. My reflections to go down there and pull the lever. And victory. Kind of a cool game. I like it. I'm liking it so far. Definitely liking the music and the overall vibe of the game. I must... I, they must have died in the plague. They must have given you to me so that... Otto, sorry. Where am I going? That's what I want to know. 
We're still in Grind Town. I guess there's other areas. Uh oh. <laughs> Oops. Okay, so I definitely wasn't supposed to do that. I think I'm supposed to go down here and then pull each switch. Oh, then I can just go back up. Okay, never mind. Okay, we're going to the generator. We need to turn on the generator or turn off the generator. One of those two. How do I kill myself? Uh, what? Why can't I kill myself? I can't... This portal thing isn't working. Um, am I stuck? I think I'm stuck. Like, there's no way for me to die and there's no way for me to get back, so... What is my options here? Uh, I guess we'll have to restart. Maybe there was a glitch? This game did just come out, like... Let's see, about a week ago, a week or so ago. Um, so we may have encountered a bug, which is going to be very, very unfortunate. Oh wait, maybe I'm supposed to... Here, wait, let me go up here. Maybe I'm supposed to use this Millie girl to activate uh, this up here? Perhaps? Can she do anything? I don't know. Wait, unless she can activate switches, can she? Nope. I don't think she can do anything. She can just fly around. Um, I thought she might be able to activate like a portal. Or do something. Activate a teleporter. Um, hmm. Well, that was useless. I guess we'll try this again. Maybe I'm supposed to, like, stop. Like, if I stop here? Nope. Oh, okay. Maybe I had to send the platform back before I could kill myself. No. The heck? I'm, I'm very, very confused. Unless... Maybe I'm supposed to jump up there first. Yeah, that might be it. <laughs> this level is kind of annoying. I wonder if there's a reset button. I don't think so. Doesn't seem like there is. Yeah, just a restart button. Do 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 do. There we go. So I'm supposed to come up here and then activate that. There we go. Now we can use our little time shift ability. And then we can just ride the platform back along and should be golden. Alright, so these puzzles are certainly getting more tricky. Uh, this one I didn't really enjoy just because I mean, if you fail, you're pretty much screwed and have to restart from the very beginning. Um, and I didn't know that you can activate those, uh, those things. Yeah. Alright, I'll probably play through two more levels in this little video. Um, depending on how hard these puzzles are. Let's see. Uh, I have to go down here. I have to go all the way down here? Oh crap, I killed myself. Ah. Uh, <laughs> that was kind of dumb. 
how was I supposed to know that there wasn't <laughs> there wasn't a floor down there? Oops. What is over this way? Okay, I should just have to wait for my clone to come across. I've been asleep, Otto, in your pocket. I've never seen the airships. Alright, just waiting for myself to pull the lever and victory. This game kind of reminds me of Braid a little bit. There's a few other games like this that have this sort of uh, time bending mechanic where you make clones of yourself. See what's down here. Okay, I need to go this way. You are now able to warp back to a portal, back to portal platforms without the need of a transporter. Press the left. Okay. So now I can blink back without the need of a transporter. Cool. It's kind of funny watching myself <laughs> like in the past. I'm just gonna pull a lever in three, two, one. Bam. Level completed. Alright, so I think that was the end of level 15. And I believe there is over 60 levels total. Oh, here's a new area. Cool. But I think I'm gonna end my little let's play here. Just a quick look at a cool looking game called Clockwork, just a nice little time bending puzzle platformer. So uh, if you enjoyed this video, be sure to check out this game on Steam, I'll leave a link in the description below, and have a nice day.